Welcome to Flutter Teacher. This is the part 2 video related to container. In part 1, we have seen the basic properties of container. In this video, we will talk about two important properties of container. These are the decoration and foreground decoration. So without wasting time, let's get started. Both these properties called decoration and foreground decoration allows us to decorate the container in advanced way. What will design that we create by using this decoration option that will be painted behind the child and whatever decoration that we create by using this foreground decoration option it will be painted in front of the child. So what do you mean by this behind the child and in front of child we will understand this one in this video. First of all I will explain this property called decoration. For this we need to add container inside the center. You can see we have the basic flutter code written here that contains metal lab, the scaffold, center widget and as a child of the center let me take a container here so we have the container for this container i'm using some width let's say width of 200 pixel let's use some height again i will use 200 pixel here and let me use the property called decoration here now for this decoration we mostly use the object of box decoration so let me use here box decoration object we must remove this const keyword before the metal lab in order to resolve this error so let me delete this one and you can see this error has resolved now inside this box decoration we have bunch of properties so let me explain properties here so let's start from the color so basically color property allows us to specify the color of this specific decoration so in this case i will use say colors dot orange so let me save it and you can see the container will appear in the center with the color of orange with the width and height of 200 pixel now make sure that when we use this color property here inside this box decoration we should not use the color property in the container itself okay i hope you might remember in the part one of container we have seen that we have the color option here for example if i use color dot view here if i save you can see we will get error here reason for error here is either we have to use color property of container or we have to use color property of box decoration so as i need to use box decoration i need to skip this color property here so let me save back and I will go back you can see i'm back with my previous code that's working fine when we create the container you can see for this container we always get these sharp corners now instead of these sharp corners if you want to get some rounded corners it's possible for this we have to use the property called border radius so let me use here property called border radius for this border radius we mostly pass the object of border radius we can either pass the circular border for all the sides of container or we can even control the single side as well. So in this case let me apply the rounded corners for all the side. For this I will use border radius dot circular border radius dot circular and inside this we have to apply the radius. Radius means what? This is basically radius of the roundedness of corner. Let's say if I use here 20 so you can see we will get this 20 pixel or let's say 20 degrees of rounded corners. Now instead of 20 if we use let's say 50 then in this case these corners are now more rounded when we want to use a rounded corner for a specific side instead of using this circle option we have to use the option called only here now inside this only option we have to specify the corner for which we are going to apply the roundedness the options here are top left top right bottom left and the bottom right let me use the option called let's say the top left here for this top left option, I am passing the value in the form of a radius dot circular. So let me use here a radius dot circular. And inside this circular option, we have to specify the roundedness. So let me use 30 here. When I save it, we can see the specific corner of the top left is appeared with the roundedness of 30 degrees or let's say the 30 pixel, whatever it is. When we use the option called circular here, we will get this nice rounded corner here. Basically, this specific rounded corner is having the same corner or say same roundedness in x axis and y axis. Now, instead of having the same roundedness, if you want to have different roundedness in x and y axis, we have to use option called elliptical here. Inside this elliptical option, we have to pass two different values. First value indicates the roundedness in x axis and second value specifies the roundedness in y axis. Let me explain that one here. Let's say if I use 50 here and let me use 20, you can see on the x axis that is from this specific axis we are having the roundedness of 50 degrees and as i'm using 20 here so there is a little roundedness at the y axis when both the values of x and y are same we'll have the nice rounded corner this border radius class has the constructor called vertical and horizontal so let me use your vertical 
basically when we use vertical it means we are going to specify the corners at the vertical side that is either from the top or from the uh, bottom side of the container and when we use the horizontal means we are specifying the corners from either from left or right side of container for this vertical constructor you can see we have two options top and the bottom top indicates we want to specify the rounded corner from top side and bottom indicates we want to apply a rounded corner from the bottom side so let me use bottom here and for this bottom also we have to pass the value in the form of this radius so let me use here radius so we can use radius dot circular now inside this circular let me pass the value 30 when i save it you can see this container will have the rounded corners of 30 degrees at the bottom let me explain the property called border before this i need to delete this border radius from here let me save it and i'm back with my previous code basically when we use this border option using this border we can specify the border for container so we can either specify a border for entire container or we can apply the border for this specific side as well so first of all let me use border for all the side for this we have to use option called border dot all inside this all constructor we have to specify three different options so first of all i'm using color here basically color indicates the color of border that you want to use so let me use here black then we have the thickness in the form of width let's say i will use a width of 10 pixel we can also apply this style for the border so the style value is applied in the form of border style so let me use the border style so i will use here border style dot solid let me add some extra comma here and let me format the code that's nice when i save it you can see we'll get the border of black color all across the container when we want to apply the border for only specific side so instead of using this all what we have to use we have to use a default constructor or say parameters constructor border now inside this parameters constructor we have got total four different options that represents four different sides of container so let me use the side for right and for the specific side i'm using the object of border side so it is your border side inside this border side we have the total three properties we have seen this one these are the color style and the width so let me use your color so i will use say colors for red here so let's use colors dot red and let me use a width of say 5 pixel let me use additional comma and format to code you can see we'll get the border of 5 pixel with the color red at the right hand side so this red is not looking so great or it's not so visible instead of that let me change to black one let's save it and now it's quite visible this border class has got the constructor called symmetry so let me use here constructor for symmetry here now using the symmetry constructor it's possible to have the same kind of border for left and right and the same kind of border for the top and bottom so inside the symmetry you can see we have two different options vertical and the horizontal so let me use option called horizontal here so let me copy and paste this one horizontal for this horizontal we have to pass object in the form of border side i'm using the border side let me use some color here so i will use let's say colors called green and let me apply some width here so i will pass width of 10 pixel when i save it you can see we will get the green border of 10 pixel from top and the bottom as well now instead of using this horizontal if i use option say vertical the same border will appear from the left and right let me explain property called shape before this let me delete the border and let me use the shape option here so i'm using shape using the shape option we can control the shape of container there are basically two kinds of shape for the container circular and the rectangle the default one that we get is basically rectangle for the shape value we have to pass the object of box shape and inside this box shape we have two different options in the form of circular and the rectangle let me use circle here when i save it you can see this container now will change to circular type of container for the circular shape also we can apply the border so let me use your option of border here and let me use your border dot all inside this i'm passing color let's say i will use color called let's say colors dot gray let me use some width here so i will use width of 5 pixel and when i save we can see we'll get the nice gray color border for the circular container let me come in the shape and the border and let me go back to my previous container now i will explain property called image using this image we can apply the background image or let's say some decoration image for the container for this image property we have to pass image in the form of decoration image so let me use your decoration image decoration image now inside this decoration image we have the property called image 
and for this image property we have to pass image in the form of image provider basically if you don't know what is this image provider and what's the difference between the widget kind of image and provider kind of image i request you guys to go ahead and watch the video where i have talked about images widget in the flutter completely now to pass the image let me use the option called asset image here so i'm using here asset image inside this asset image we have to pass the path where your asset image is available so my image is available inside a folder called images and inside this we have the image in the form of let's say user1.jpg when i save it you can see we'll get this specific kind of image here for making this image to fit completely for intent container what we have to do we have to use the option called fit so let me use here fit here and for this fit i'm passing let's say the box fit dot cover it will cover the entire space of container when i save it you can see the image will cover the entire space it's possible to make this a rectangular image in the form of circle image for this we have to use this property called shape here so let me use here shape in the form of box shape dot circle when i save you can see we'll get this nice rounded image for this image also we can apply the border for this we have to use the border option now instead of using the gray color because this image already has got the gray color let me use some different color here so let's say i will use let's say color called red here when i save it you can see we'll get the nice red rounded borders using this box decoration we can also apply the gradient for your container so for this let me delete all the values from here and let me use option called gradient basically gradient is a kind of option using which we can apply the gradual blending of color from one color to another color now you can see for this gradient we have to apply different type of gradient so there are two famous gradient these are the linear gradient and the circular gradient so let me use here linear gradient now inside this linear gradient it's compulsory to pass value for this color you can see this basically a property called colors it's not a color basically this colors option requires the area of color it means these are the colors that you want to apply for your gradient so let me use here let's say colors dot red and let me use here say colors dot blue let me copy and paste and instead of red i will use blue here when i save it you can see we have got this nice gradient that start from the red color and ends with the blue color you can see the gradient is starting from left side and ending as the right side instead of having this kind of linear gradient if you want to have the gradient in the form of uh, starting from the top left and end at the bottom right we have to use values called begin and end so let me use value called begin here for this begin we have to pass the values in the form of alignment so let me use here alignment dot top left and we have the value called end so for this end we have to pass the value in the form of again alignment let me use here alignment dot bottom right when i save you can see the gradient has changed from top left to the bottom right we can also add the colors as many as we want so let me use here let's say colors dot green here let me save it and you can see the changes in the gradient when we want to apply circular gradient for this container instead of using this linear gradient option we have to use the object of radial gradient so let me use here radial gradient and we don't have the option called begin and end here let me delete it from here when i save it you can see we have got this nice circular gradient for the container we have the rectangular container here that's why this circular or say radial gradient is looking quite upward so instead of that let me change the shape here inside this decoration so let me use object called shape and for the shape option i'm using the box shape dot circle so when i save it it will look a little better for this radial gradient we can also control the center point from which this gradient has to appear by default this gradient will start from the center of circle now instead of this if i want to start from this specific say top right corner for this we have to pass the value of center so for the center i'm passing the value in the form of alignment so let me use here alignment dot say top right and you can see this specific gradient will start from the top right corner of the container let me use the value called let's say bottom center here we can apply shadow to container by using the property called box shadow for using this let me delete all the content from this box decoration let me delete it and let me delete this one also and let me delete this extra bracket let me format the code okay let me apply some color here so let's use let's say colors dot red here 
Now let me use property called box shadow. So I'm using here box shadow. Box shadow requires the list of box shadows so that we can apply multiple shadows for the single container. So let me use the list here and let me pass the object of box shadow here. Inside this box shadow, we can specify various values such as say the color of shadow, the offset, the blur radius, spread radius and so on. So let me use the color of this shadow. So I will use here, let's say colors.gray. Let me use some blur radius. So I will use blur radius of 10 pixel. Let me format a code and save it. We have got the box shadow of gray color with the blur radius of 10 pixel, which is obviously not visible so much. So let me change the color. So let me use here, let's say green color. When I save, now it's quite visible and we can see it well. We have the property called offset using which we can apply the offset that is the displacement value for the shadow. So let me use here offset. For this offset, we have to pass two different values that is the dx and dy. So for dx, let me use 10 pixel and for dy, I'm using 5. You can see we'll get the shadow which is having the displacement in xx of 10 pixel and displacement of y axis in 5 pixel. Now instead of this 10, let me change it to 50 and you will exactly realize what we mean by this x and y axis displacement. Let me explain the foreground decoration. Before that, let me delete entire code inside this box decoration. Let me make it empty. Let me format it and I'm good to go. Now, similar to this decoration, we have the property called foreground decoration. Basically, both this property, decoration and foreground decoration, requires the object of decoration. So we can also pass a box decoration here. And we already seen box decoration and all the different properties that it supports. So the difference in decoration and foreground decoration is that Using decoration, we can apply the decoration that will be painted behind the child and using the foreground decoration, whatever decoration that we apply, it will be painted in front of the child. So let me explain what do you mean by this in front of child and what do you mean by this behind the child. So for this, what I will do here, let me use child property here. For this child, I'm passing the image in the form of image.asset. Inside this asset, I'm using the folder called the images that that's what I have created. And from this images folder, let me use image called Let's say user 2.jpg. Let me save it and we'll get this specific image. Let me just increase width and height a little bit. So let me use 400 and 400 pixel width and height. For this decoration, we have passed the object of box decoration. And inside this box decoration, let me use the image. So in this case, the image has to be in the form of decoration image. Let me use here decoration image. For this decoration image, we have the property called image. And as a value of this one, we have to pass either say asset image or network image. So let me use here asset image. Inside this asset image, we have to specify the path of image. So let me use here images slash let's say user3.jpg. Let me format the code and save it properly. Now try to understand this output here. We have the child in the form of image called user2. This is basically image of this woman here. Now behind this image that is behind this child, we have this decoration and for this decoration, we have used the image called user3. That's the reason you can observe here, user3 image is not in front of this user1 image. Actually, it is the behind user1 image because we are using this decoration property. And as I explained you, whatever thing that you specify inside this decoration that will be painted always behind the child. Now, instead of using this decoration, if I change it to let's say, foreground decoration and when I save it, you can observe here now, this specific image called user3 is appeared in front of the user2 image. It means whatever thing that we specify using this foreground decoration is painted in front of the child. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.